While he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with him a great multitude with swords and clubs from the chief priests and elders of the people. Now he who betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whoever I kiss, he is the one. Seize him. Immediately he came to Jesus and said, Hail, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, why are you here? Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and took him. Behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and struck off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all those who take the sword will die by the sword. Or do you think that I couldn't ask my father, and he would even now send me more than twelve legions of angels? How then would the scriptures be fulfilled that it must be so? In that hour Jesus said to the multitudes, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to seize me? I sat daily in the temple teaching, and you didn't arrest me. But all this has happened, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. Those who had taken Jesus led him away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were gathered together. But Peter followed him from a distance to the court of the high priest and entered in and sat with the officers to see the end. Now the chief priests, the elders, and the whole council sought false testimony against Jesus that they might put him to death, and they found none. Even though many false witnesses came forward, they found none. But at last two false witnesses came forward and said, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. The high priest stood up and said to him, Have you no answer? What is this that these testify against you? But Jesus held his peace. The high priest answered him, I adjure you by the living God that you tell us whether you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said it. Nevertheless, I tell you, after this you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of the sky. Then the high priest tore his clothing, saying, He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Behold, now you have heard his blasphemy. What do you think? They answered, He is worthy of death. Then they spit in his face and beat him with their fists, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you Christ, who hit you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the court, and a maid came to him, saying, You were also with Jesus, the Galilean. But he denied it before them all, saying, I don't know what you are talking about. When he had gone out onto the porch, someone else saw him and said to those who were there, this man also was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again he denied it with an oath. I don't know the man. After a little while, those who stood by came and said to Peter, Surely you are also one of them, for your speech makes you known. Then he began to curse and to swear, I don't know the man. Immediately the rooster crowed. Peter remembered the word which Jesus had said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and wept bitterly.